Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake Ikea Tag, and today we're back again with one of the best minor wall breaker cycle decks I've ever played in Clash Royale. This minor wall breaker cycle deck is coming in fast at 2.6 elixir. Every single one of the cards is either two or three elixir besides the bomb tower. You can constantly be applying aggression with your minor plus bats, minor plus spear goblins, or wall breakers pushes, and your opponent will not be able to deal with all of your aggression in multiple lanes. But the main reason why this deck works so well is because Royal Delivery is the best card in Clash Royale coupled with one of the other best cards, Bomb Tower, your opponent will never be able to break through you and you'll constantly be able to recycle back to them because of your quick cycle. This might just be the best deck in Clash Royale right now and I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. We're gonna jump into ladder and we're gonna assert some dominance. And I just wanna give a huge shout out to all of you guys that are using creator code SIRTAG in any Supercell game. All money made from creator code SIRTAG goes directly back into the channel with the new improvements to the iPad, the camera, the editing, the microphone, all this has been possible because of you guys, and I really appreciate it. So we're gonna go in front of Miner here. We're gonna see what's up, we're gonna see what's happening. This guy's gonna go in front of Miner as well. Let's go, baby. So it's gonna be fast cycle deck first, fast cycle deck. He's gonna have snowball, so it's probably gonna be a balloon cycle deck. That's what I'm anticipating right now. We definitely wanna go in for bats with our knight to supplement it and try to get some more damage. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go for an ice golem, but still some of the bats go on the tower. Let's get that damage. Let's get fired up and collect the free. Juicy chip. Okay, we can go and pull that back with wall breakers. Get some more value here. And I want to go in for a miner. If he's going to go in for bomb tower, he's going to expect us to drop the miner on the safe placement because then it won't get hit by the bomb tower. So we're going to drop it in the back and he's not going to predict it and we get way more chip. You love to see it, guys. Otherwise, the skeletons would have body blocked us and it wouldn't have been a good time. Do not encourage that behavior. So I'm going to go for bomb tower. I'm going to go for bats. He could zap here. We're going to have to wait and see. He's going to snowball so we can go for spear goblins. And we should be able to shut it down without a single hit on the tower. Yes, you're going to get death damage, but guess what happens to you, man? You have to deal with a knight. You have to drop his units on my miner. And you are going to have to overspend in the right-hand side, my dude. So it definitely wasn't the right decision for you. Okay, so we can go in for wall breakers again. Just apply more aggression, force out more elixir, because nothing that he has is actually going to be able to defend that. He has to drop another two extra elixir. Because he's dropping four, plus two elixir trades for days. OJ, he's just like praying, happiness, and just singing to the choir, man. OJ is probably so happy after he saw that interaction. Maybe I can go in for bats and minor on the right-hand side again and go in for spear goblins. You know what he's doing? He's going to go in for skeletons to try to body block and protect his uh, musketeer, and we can log it. And if we're able to go and kill the skeletons and finish off the musketeer, then I know that we're going to be able to get some extra value as well. Let's go, guys. We've made out another bomb tower. So what I want to do is I want to go for Spear Goblin's Knight. Not with the perception of getting damage, but because I want to bait out more elixir. So I'm going to go in for Miner plus Bats as well. Force out more elixir. Go in for a log on the right-hand side. And wow, yeah, we bait out an Ice Golem, a musketeer, and a lot of cards that he doesn't want to drop. The bomb tower is just going to die. So I can go in for another set of wall breakers as soon as that expires. Bomb tower here. Make sure that we can go in for bats as well. Make sure that the spear goblins are going to force out a snowball. And he completely whiffed. Go for the rail delivery to bounce everything back. And the Stevens are swarming the tower, guys. One of my favorite plays in this deck is to go in for the minor plus wall breakers. He has to go for bomb tower and then has to drop way more elixir. If you go in for an ice golem, first off, that thing doesn't actually body block the miner for perpetuity. So you're going to have to drop something else. Second off, if you try to go in for a bomb tower, it's going to be a negative elixir trade every single time. So, yeah, he, he's going to go for skeletons, but they eventually die. Feels bad for him. I'm going to wait for the snowball. Then we follow up with the bats, finish off the balloon, go in for the miner and wall breakers as soon as we hit five elixir because we can rely on our units to counter push and kill the muskie. Force out more elixir with the bomb tower. And it's a slow and steady process of peeling away the onion, man. But eventually, his tower will fall and he will be the damsel in distress. Now who's the damsel in distress? Me? So we can go for another set of spear goblins. I'm going to cycle our miner in front. We can go in for a log and he's not able to really do anything here. It's going to be GG. We're not dropping that in the back because guess what? If we drop it in the back, he could eventually go in for a snowball and actually a king tower off that. And we're not about that life. He's going to go for a miner, but it doesn't matter. Remember, he just uses snowball. So it's unfortunate for him. He's just going to go pulled by the bomb tower. If you consistently rattle off this bomb tower placement, there's nothing they can do in the game to stop you. So GG and well played. When you play against balloon cycle decks, you assert dominance to the highest degree with this deck. And there's really nothing that they can do. Nico run. He's got to run away from this matchup because he can't win it. It's just not possible.
We're gonna sauce out a miner here. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's happening. And this guy is gonna go for an ice wizard. So when we see ice wizard, it's definitely gonna be tornado. So I dropped it in the right spot today. And we're gonna log for some extra love on the tower. Let's go, miner. Sending him some kisses. Sending him some appreciation. He definitely didn't appreciate that extra damage, though. But, you know, I did. So at least one of us is happy. Hey, there's the tornado, just as we said. And I can go for a knight. Go for spear goblins on the left to just be a very annoying sir. And then we can go in for bats plus miner on the right because he doesn't have tornadoes. So it's going to be obnoxious for him. Because we can miner in the back, knowing that he can't get back to his tornado for another three cards after cycling the barber. Oh, he just lost the game. There is nothing he can do about that. Barry the bat is wreaking havoc on the tower. Totally destroying his mental capabilities. Destroying <laughs> this guy's function. He is going to come away from this game and he's just going to be like, I got to sit on my couch and eat potato chips for the rest of the day. Because, you know... That wasn't a good time. I need to mentally recoup and get back in a better frame of mind. Anyway, we can go for Spear Goblins in the back with the Bomb Tower. We should be able to shut this down. He's not going to be able to go in for a Poison on top of the Spear Goblins for a while because they were dropped so far back and hit the Bomb Tower at the same time. And as a result, you know what? I think we got this game in the bag. I'm so stoked. The thing about Graveyard is you will lose if you don't keep applying aggression. So sometimes the best defense is going to be a really good offense. So we're going to keep up the aggression with the Bats. And you guys see how I'm playing this, right? I'm perpetually cycling cards that force out more elixir, so he's not able to go in for a lucrative offensive endeavor with a poison on us. So I'm going to go in for a log here just to bounce back the Ice Wizard so it gets knocked back and he doesn't get chipped. And somehow, some way, we connected and killed the cannon cart with wall breakers. Did anyone see that? Because I didn't realize that until I saw it afterwards. So I saw the ramifications that he was dealt with, but... I did not see it happen in action. I, I really feel like he's gone. Yeah, he probably broke his phone, guys. No big deal. Casually asserting dominance on all these graveyard players, crippling their mental capabilities, and spiraling them into the worst mental state that they've ever had in their lives. GG, well played and peace out. I hope that your phone survives to tell the tale because, you know... I'd like to think that I'm a good person, and I'd like to think that I don't break people's phones when I play against them in Clash Royale. Alright guys, we got a game here, we're gonna sauce out a good luck, we're gonna see what's up, we're gonna see what's happening. Definitely wanna go kick it open with a log, make sure our opponent has to drop something against that now. Hey, we actually hit a goblin gang, or goblins or something, I don't know what I hit with the log, but we got some nice value early on, let's go. Just got evaporated in an instant. So, spear goblins are gonna be dropped real soon for us, I believe. Yeah, this is going to be great. We can go drop our Spear Gobs. We can go in for our Royal Delivery. Shut down the Prince. Remember, guys, the Lecture Wizard just dies there. <laughs> and uh, he still has to respond to the Spear Goblin. So we can go in for a Wall Breaker Spear Goblin's push. And if he goes in for Dark Prince, it's going to go on the Miner. It's not going to hit the Wall Breakers. They're both going to connect to the tower. And what the heck are you running? Why do you have Dark Prince and Valkyrie and Goblins in the same deck? What is this insanity, my man? What are you thinking? I think we have to go in for Spear Goblin just to go and pull that in case he wants to go in for something on top of the night. I'm a little bit scared about this guy. He seems a bit feisty. I am Mitchell. Mitchell, you definitely have some wacky stuff. Some shenanigans are about to be spun upon us. But if you're going to go for Prince and Hog Rider, what the? The Prince Hog Rider combinations on ladder, guys. The things that you think that you would never see but somehow are a reality that we're living in. So I need to go for a knight to shut down the hog. He actually got a substantial amount of damage there, guys. I guess the prince is pretty good with that. However, if I go for a miner with a knight, the knight's going to be tanking for the miner. And if you go dark prince, we immediately go wall breakers because mm -hmm. then it's going to be very hard for you to deal with this. The goblin should just die here. Both of the wall breakers should connect. <laughs> I'm having too much of a fun time, guys. I love Clash Royale. It is one of the best games in this universe. So we need to go and pull the Dark Prince so it doesn't go and kill our tower. We're able to go and kite it into two individual Spear Goblin hits, by the way. Because we dropped it in that placement, it was away from the Valkyrie, so it didn't push the Valkyrie. And then on top of that, the other great thing is we were able to make sure that it hit each individual Spear Goblin so it took up more time. I can go in for another Miner in the back. This guy's going to go in for a Prince. Doesn't matter to me. Remember, he's going to have Hog Rider with this deck. Interestingly enough, I thought it was going to be double Prince plus Giant. But no, Ladder is springing upon us. The infamous Hog Rider plus double Prince. We mock what we don't understand. Yeah. Dude, he literally took a double Prince Giant deck and he put in Hog Rider. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. 
It's hilarious to see the innovation coming out of Ladder Man. So we can go in for another Miner here, just try to get more chip damage. He uses Electro Wizard, so he has to predict that. He does end up predicting it. Really well played, man. But I can log for more chip. Know that you're probably going to go for a Hawk Rider soon. Remember last time he tried to spam us, it wasn't very lucrative for him. So he's going to try to do it again. All I have to go is drop our bats. I don't think there's any way for him to counter it besides arrows. And he's not able to hit everything with the arrows there. So some of the bats are staying alive. Very the bats staying alive and thriving. We're able to go for a miner in front. He is going to go for a reactionary Electro Wizard or a reactive Electro Wizard to shut it down. And the Royal Delivery gave us a hit. All we have to do is spam him here until we get back to a miner or any type of spam with a log. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. Pleasure playing against you and asserting dominance. This was insane. The Stronger Island Clan definitely has one of the weirdest decks I've ever seen in my life. And it was a pleasure playing against you, Mitchell. Did I just call him Mitchell? I think I meant to say Mitchell, but okay, we'll move on to the next one and peace out. If you guys don't know, I just can't pronounce people's names correctly. I called him Mitchell. We know his name is Mitchell. I'm sorry, dude. My deepest condolences for mispronouncing your name. All right, we're gonna go for wall breakers here. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's happening. And this guy is gonna have to just stand elixir on both sides. And he doesn't want to, let me tell you. They never want to do that. So we can go for spear goblins. He's gonna force out elixir that way. And we can go for minor plus bats on the right. He's gonna spend something on the spear goblins, right? You're not gonna let those connect. Yeah, he wrote deliveries. Let's go, guys. I knew it was gonna happen that way. And Barry the Bat's gonna get on the tower. Oh, Barry the Bat and his brothers. Oh my goodness. Bouncing all over that tower. So, he's going to go in for a bomb tower. This is definitely going to be Graveyard. This has to be another Graveyard player, guys. How many Graveyard players can we play against? The world may never know. All right, so we can go for Spear Goblins as soon as that expires, and then just apply more aggression, because I need to in Single Elixir. Otherwise, we kind of lose. We're not about the life of losing against Graveyard players, though. I'm going to log so it doesn't get two hits. Better for us to deny damage than uh, just get, like, an insurmountable lead for him just chipping away on us. It's not going to be uh, something that's pretty. I want to go for bats in the back, and he's going to graveyard here most likely. Yeah, why do you have graveyard plus... Uh... Yeah, I don't understand. He's got graveyard plus bats. I just never see that very often, but... You know, whatever floats your boat, dude. I need to log that so that my bats don't all die. Spear goblins are going to get some more tankage now. He's going to bar barrel. Can some of the bats go back? Oh. Okay. We can go in for a miner here. Just gonna try to drop our miner before two of our bats die. I think two of them die and then the last three get tanked for. Oh, four get tanked for! And then he has to rail delivery. He didn't want to do that at all. All right, so we're up quite a bit, but that's obvious. So it's gonna happen in single elixir. When he's able to afford the poison and double, that's where things get dicey, guys. So I need to go for wall breakers now, be able to pull that back. And he's gonna go for a musketeer. It's gonna be able to finish off everything. You don't really need to drop it at those bats, man. Oh my goodness. Actually, the Musketeer was pretty far back. I think he did need to drop the bats. Most of the time, you don't need to, though. There's Royal Delivery going for Spear Goblins here, going for bats. He's going to poison, and <laughs> we just evaded everything. Do you guys like that? Because now the bats give us counter push. We had the forethought to realize, hey, if it's double elixir, he's going to go in for a poison. So what do we do? We drop everything away from the poison that's inevitably going to come down. We know he's going to bomb tower, so we just want to go for wall breakers to bait that out. And he's going to barbell, actually. Oh, okay. Never mind. I stand corrected, sir. We can go in for bats. We can go in for a miner here. Generally don't want to go in the same lane. So we're going to try to start working on the other side with wall breakers. Maybe we can outside them. <laughs> yeah, those are both going to connect. We're going to start going off his lane. And we're going to try to apply aggression there. Because otherwise we just go into him and we're going to lose that way. So we're not about that life. You guys know what's up. You know what's good. Oh, we're maneuvering around. We're like MacGyver, dude. You can't stop me. We're making big plays only. We can go in for wall breakers plus minor. We know he's going to probably bar barrel. Wait, no, he's going to bomb tower now. That's so bad for him. Oh my goodness. So the th one thing that I would have changed in this is I would have probably went in the opposite lane a little bit quicker. He's going to go in for, oh my goodness, what are you doing? You're really going to go in for a musketeer like that and you're not going to have bomb tower so we can go in for our wall breakers. Then I can go and set up with our spear goblins. The bomb tower is going to take the initial hit. The spear goblins are going to finish everything off. I can go for a log for more chip damage. He's not going to be able to afford the poison immediately. So we can go in for our bats, and then we can go in for our Royal Delivery service. Followed up with our Spear Goblins. So if the Royal Delivery plus the uh, bats are going to be able to shut that down, then we're chilling. Oh my goodness, he, he did way more than I thought. Ouch! Oh my god. Please don't do me like this, sir. Wait, you don't have Elixir, right? Ah, oh, you still do. This is going to be tragic. I need to outplay him dramatically to win this at this point. I messed up. I done goofed A.A. Ron. All right. Actually, he messed up there, too, with the bats. Can we bounce back? Can we actually wreck him here? 
He's not going to be back to Bomb Tower. We will outcycle that. He's going to go Royal Delivery, and that's not going to hit. The Bar Barrel is still not going to tank in time. I can go in for a log with 500 HP. Is there a will? Is there a way, guys? Can we reign supreme here? I just need to keep up the aggression. If I just keep throwing cards at him, just throwing cards left, right, and center, I think we can find a way to reign supreme. The Fire takes the tower. Go, 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 go. And despite that horrific mishap, we bounce back and proclaim that we are victorious in the end. Let's go, guys. I'm so glad we won that. I didn't think we were going to come back, but, you know, good things happen when your opponent messes up, and we'll take it. We'll take it for sure. So we're 6,172 in the world, baby. Let's get it, and let's keep grinding. All right, guys. We got a game here. We're going to sauce out of good luck. We're going to see what's up, and hopefully we can assert the dominance. Going for our wall breakers to kick open the game. And this man is going to have to spend Elixir on both sides. Or he's just going to Tornado. And then because he doesn't have Tornado in cycle, we go in the Miner in the back. And we laugh at him because he probably dropped something right here in the safe spot. Oh, come on, man. So you got Golem. Golem is not easy. It's actually going to be very hard. So I want to go for a Knight so we can go pull the Baby Dragon so it goes on a little bit of a walk. We yeet it to the right-hand side. And then we can go for Bats. And then we can go in for Wall Breakers and split them again. So actually, no, we're not going to split them. We're going to go in for a Miner on the left. We're going to go for wall breakers in the right because the knight's still tanking, and we get one hit. All right, cool. So he's going to lumberjack, and it's just going to get destroyed. How are we going to play this? Maybe go for spear goblins on the right after everything dies? The thing is, if we play this matchup poorly, then we're just waiting until 10 elixir and waiting for him to go for a golem and double. That's not how you play, guys. You need to make sure that you always go in for aggressive plays, force out more elixir, and force them to not drop all of their elixir behind their golem. So he's going to go in for a tornado. That means I can go for wall breakers, force out more elixir. With the knight, both those connect. So we'll see what he does here. Yep, that's a ton of damage. We're going to bomb tower last possible second so we can go and pull. So the golem gets pulled the furthest possible tile. Then we can go in for spear goblins to make sure that he has to spend more elixir. He's probably going to, yep, either earthquake or lightning. He goes in for the lightning. We're going to go in for a log so then the golem stays inside of the death damage. So then it doesn't explode on the tower. You guys see how clean of a defense that was? That was spectacular. That is what dreams are made of. That's what you want to have happen in life. So we can go in for another miner here with the spear goblins. He's going to go for a baby dragon or something probably. But the spear goblins are going to lock onto the tower. And especially the knight is raining in the pain. Because we pulled back the night witch. I was hoping that we would hit a lumberjack, honestly. But getting the night witch early, if he doesn't golem here, then he's not going to have it with the uh, golem push that he's going to go drop. So that's even better for me, actually. So we can go for spear goblins here as well. Should be able to finish this all off. I need to go in for wall breakers just to apply more aggression. I think what we do here is we cycle our bomb tower early and we get back to another one because he's going to lightning. That's inevitable, right? He's going to lightning this 100%. Um, I need a knight. He's going to lightning it. It's okay. It's just going to give him a lot of value. We need to cycle multiple royal deliveries, which is unfortunate, but it is a reality that I've come to. We're going to go in cycle one pretty quickly, cycle back to another, and bomb tower again. So as long as we get back to multiple royal deliveries, I think this defense is going to be clean. I'm going to go for bats here on top of his baby dragon. He won't be able to get that golem through, so he's going to continue to try to spam right into the face of adversity. Snack and a half. The meat grinder will never stop pulverizing his pushes. Fresh meat for the grinder, eh? So I can go in for wall breakers. I can go in for miner. And at this point, we can just be a, a living, <laughs> breathing meme and spend as much elixir as we want on offense, but I'd rather just secure the bag. Make sure he doesn't get any damage on us at all besides the lightning. We can go in for our rail delivery, go in for our bats, and walk away with a win. How many wins in a row is that, guys? We are literally annihilating the competition. And this deck just doesn't seem to lose. You guys saw how we just tore apart that golem player. He had no way of defending us. And we constantly baited out more elixir, allowing us to spam wall breakers on one side, then go in for bats plus minor, evaporate his lumberjack. And he just didn't feel comfortable at all there, did he? <laughs> 4,689 in the world, and there's no signs of stopping anytime soon. Let's go, guys. I love this deck. It is absolutely incredible.